Hey guys, have you heard of the Angel Grove Prom? Well, you need to, because if you're coming to Power Morphicon, this is going to be a huge event. It's a charity event, so join us at Power Morphicon Angel Grove Prom. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Joe with that hashtag show. Welcome to Morphin Monday. I am here with the great, amazing, talented Davi Santos, who played Ivan from Power Rangers, Dino Charge, and Super Di or Dino Supercharge. There you go, Gold Ranger. How are you, sir? Excellent. Happy to be here. I am. Uh, this is my second time talking to you. Besides when we did that thing up there, La yeah, Q and A. Last time I talked to you was at Morphicon. And um, how have you seen Power Rangers grow since since uh, since your time on the show? Oh my gosh, so I, I suppose I was on the tip of the iceberg with our show, and then seeing um, the next season after that, you know, being like the, the freshman in the school and then the new the new guys, and now with um, Beast Morphers coming out and like the, the new acquisition, uh, the sky's the limit, so. Now, uh, Beast Morphers is gonna be the first Hasbro produced Power Rangers show. What advice do you have to the Rangers that are gonna be coming in to Beast Morphers? It would be very similar to what the advice would be even if Hasbro wasn't involved because you're still going to New Zealand, you're still going to shoot 43 episodes, you know? Right. So it's to enjoy the process. It's a lot of work, but at the same time, take advantage of uh, being there and being in town and um, enjoy each other's company as well because you can make really friends for life doing this show. That's amazing. And uh, I got to ask you, I asked you up there earlier, what do you take away with Hasbro now taking control over the franchise? Good thing, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, it's been at Saban's for, I mean, since the jump, save for that little moment when it was at Disney, right? Uh, so right now, with, with someone new, as well as with a lot of the guys that were in the previous, you know, with Saban, with Chip still being part of it and everything, uh, I mean, it's variety, it's uh, it's new energy, it's new insight, so I'm excited. And it's Hasbro, too, it's, it's not like some company that has no experience with these kinds of brands, you know? And Saban's still overseeing the franchise, so it's a right. good hand. Um, is there anything that you wish that they would have done differently with Ivan that maybe we didn't get or maybe something that you would like to expand on? Well, since we had six main rangers and then, of course, all of our, our like additional, the yeah, then right? ten at the end, um, it, it was really difficult to, to really keep these distinct stories and we'd have to often create excellent kind of almost stories that would start and then we'd have to ch change direction, you know, and, and that's normal and the show is still great for it, uh, but it would be really nice to see them, like, continue until the end. See that too, a few of those relationships play out, yeah. a few a few character development things, I totally agree with you. Now, a lot of our fans actually had questions for you they sent in to us. Oh, sure. So, they're video questions, uh, if you want to throw those headphones on, and uh, you can hit play and... Alright, let's see... Hey, Dobby. Hello. The Tom Craven. Tom Craven. So two questions. Two for questions. You. First, when you had your morphing sequence, did you say something different other than unleash the power? Only reason I'm asking is because your lips never matched up to everything else. <laughs> and secondly, how much of Curiouser did you watch beforehand in preparation for the okay. show? Thanks, so man. Take double it easy. question. Did I say anything aside from unleash the power? And did I watch uh, Super Sentai in preparation? So, no, I. I no, I said unleash the power just like everyone else, definitely. Uh, I'm not sure what else we're catching there. <laughs> but I'm pretty, I remember that being what I was, what I was saying. Uh, but I know what you're talking about. And I think it's when we had the split screens, yes. you know? Yep. Uh, and we actually, every single time we say unleash the power per episode, we would re be saying that freshly and new as a voiceover. And it was always that same shot of us. So there's a chance that for an episode that you watched, they, they synced it up a little bit differently, you know? Interesting. Yeah. Okay. And uh, question, did you, about the Sentai? Yes. But did you uh, watch it in preparation? Well, since Yoshi and Brennan were super into it, you know, had to, right? I had to at least check it out. So I was blown away by sort of like the, it looked like the inside of a chest cavity, you know, like the villain's uh, space. And um, so I, I watched an episode for sure. Uh, but that, I mean, we also had, it's our own world, you know what I mean? So it didn't feel proper to sort of be taking just from Super Sentai. So that one episode was enough for an exposure and to give me ideas. Interesting. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay. I think you have to put the headphones on. Hey. Of course, of course. Cool. Hi, Dobby. Uh, my name is Jess. First off, I want to say you're one of my favorite Six Rangers. Why, thank you. And, uh, my question is, 
Seeing how Power Rangers has been a big improvement in people's lives, helped them day to day, helped them become better people. Cool. How has Power Rangers made you a better person or helped you grow? Thank how you has Anna. Power Rangers helped me be a better person, helped me grow? It's an excellent question. Uh, well, look, there's a lot of humility, I think, uh, in, in, I mean, when you share an experience of being a Power Ranger with a lot of people that have loved the show, I've loved the show, so we're kind of all in it together, you know, but it's very easy to kind of just be like, I'm suddenly in it and you're watching it and there's this huge divide when I, the, the best moment to sort of bridge it is when I was at, so it was my first con, Morphicon, and you know, it, it's like that whole kind of bombardment of energy. And then it wasn't until I saw um, Austin, St. James, and then- St. John. St. John, excuse me, yeah, Austin, St. John. Um, uh, James is like my patron saint, so just, <laughs> never mind. Uh, when I saw Austin, St. John like walk across the, the con and then I kind of just like double took and then froze, and then kind of went like, I have to go ask, I have to go talk to him, you know? And then it's sort of that, like we're all kind so of excited for the show together. It. And so how did it help me become a better person? I think it's just embracing, sort of embracing things that we, we treasure, but at the same time, sort of like sharing it, you know? Good answer, I liked it. All right, let's move on to the next. And can they hear this? Should I repeat yeah, the no, question? No, they're gonna be on screen. Oh, okay. Johnny cool, cool, cool. Santos, Blackman 2040. Also, first off, big fan of Dino Charge. You guys did an awesome job with your season. Thank you very much. My fan question is, since you have the power of Xandar Thunder, Xandar Thunder who do you think power. will win in a battle between you and the Thunder Rangers? The Thunder Rangers? We have to recap on the Thunder Rangers. The Thunder Rangers were from Power Rangers Ninja Storm. They were the two villains that are, they were two villainous rangers that came in, but ended up joining the team. They were both brothers, uh, probably adopted brothers, uh, but they were brothers that shook things up a little bit, I believe. Yeah, I mean, how often do we see rangers fight each other, you know? It's, I mean, we see it for when they turn bad and then they kind of finally get the reality check of like what side you should serve, you know? Right, right, so right. like, who would win? I mean, I'm newer, I'm fresher, but we're not gonna go there. I think at the end of the day, we would figure out that we'd have to work together. So. Look at that, that's like a uh, Power Rangers Civil War scenario, right? Like Marvel Civil War or Avengers Civil War. All right, let's move on to the next. All right. Oops. Last question here is, wait, we just saw his. It's here. This is Anna from Jamaica, and I wanted to find Hello. out. Hello. What have you been doing since Dino Charge? Ooh, good question. What have I been doing post New Zealand, post Dino Charge? Uh, well, immediately after Dino Charge, I went and lived in Portland, Oregon for a month to shoot a film um, called Something Like Summer. And since then, I got to reunite with uh, Ryan Carter, who played Heckle, because the film was uh, it had a festival premiere at Australia. So they took me over to Australia, where uh, Ryan had moved to Sydney. So then we sort of like had our own little mini reunion of Gold and, and Heckle slash Snide. I, you know what? Speaking of uh, your time in Power Rangers Dino Charge, how did you develop the accent for Ivan? Oh my gosh! So it's kind of a, um, it's kind of funny because I, I mean I do accents for fun all the time. They kind of really? they slip out, you know. I'll just be talking to my friend, and then all of a sudden it just turns into something else. And then before you know it, you're just talking like this for like hours and hours and hours. So then when they said, "Could you do like a Shakespearean heighten?" and I was like, "Oh, you mean something along these lines?" But of course, of course. That's a, so then I would just talk like that in on like on set, off set, and they were like, "Wow, you're really dedicated to this, aren't you?" It's like actually, it's, Sir Ivan is. It's more like Dobby is like Sir Ivan more than Sir Ivan is like Dobby. <laughs> did it? Did, did uh, eventually your other cast members get like annoyed? Like, all right, stop with the accent. I think they were the ones that then they would start doing accents themselves. Oh, really? It ended up being like really contagious. Yeah. Well, Davi, it was a pleasure talking to you again, as always. Thank you so much for your time. Guys, where, where can they find you on social media? Oh, yeah, so on Instagram, it's Davi, D-A-V-I, 2 Santos. And then on, on Twitter, it's 2 Davi Santos. And guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I am Joe with that hashtag show. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button to stay up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture.